walking on the commentary booth saying, oh, I don't like fighting Vivi. And well, I don't really know why that is, but I guess maybe we'll find that out. But he's yeah. with those. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Venya and Vivi have a history. And um, Venya usually takes these sets, but Vivi could either win the set or they're very long, hard sets. Yeah. Um, and it's hilarious. Because what happens is Venya just uh, Venya is playing neutral, and then Vivi kills him at like a magical percent. Oh, yeah. So it's pretty funny. Yeah, Lucario, it's like he can be tilting. Once, once like he can't kill him, you know. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And uh, if he, um, all right. So I feel like um, yeah, it's combo with those up there. So I feel like Luka Ninja. Like I feel it's like one of those characters that like outside the down tilt up up smash percents and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to kill with them. So then the car could get like his kills and stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, because wh what usually happens is like, uh, Greninja is a character that thrives off stage. Yeah. So, Venny will try to push him off the stage at certain points after yeah. he's at those percents, and he's just. And now it's up to Vivi to mix up his um, recovery. Reco yeah. Yeah. But with that being said, Vivi yeah. reading his jump with the back air. That juicy read. I'm Vivi. Yeah, and Benny needs to take the stock, man, because <laughs> when Lucario has lead and he has rage, it's pretty hilarious. He doesn't actually start playing the game until his numbers are right. Yeah. So, right now, Vivi's playing the game and he's down to stock. Wow, Ooh. I've never seen that before. Yeah, and I like that defensive aggressive option, because usually when Greninja do that to people, um, people like air dot and do something, you know, panicky, yeah. and Vivi's just very aggressive out of that. I I feel like Vinia is not being too antsy because he knows that Lucario can just kill you in an instant. He's facing his fares very well. You just move on the ground, you know? Yeah, and yeah, Vivi yeah. getting getting a little bit um, too helpful with that, uh, with that counter. Yeah. But still with a pretty hefty lead. Yeah. All right, getting those juggles. Yep, this is something. Oh yeah, this is all true. 40, 40%. Yeah, that's all true. Oh, and try to get the... <laughs> Not back air one. No. All right. Oh. Yeah. I'm well away. Good job. by Phoebe. Yeah, and and I'm and I'm liking what Vivi is doing right now. Right. He's not. He's not trying to. You're not. He's not trying to catch Greninja. Yeah. He's letting. He's letting Greninja come to him because yeah. Lucario is as a slower character. You're not gonna catch Greninja at all. It's never gonna work. That is very true. And Venia is an aggressive player. He's always gonna, almost always be the aggressor. Yeah. I feel like he could slow down a bit, but like, it's an even game, so. Yeah. A good jump reap by Venia. Diz um. Yeah. All right. So, I feel like Venia should like on the top. Oh wow! Ah. Catch it at the Aura Sphere. Wow. I was that about, the ledge. Yeah. I was about to say like, they could be could use more um, Shurikens. To catch him because he's so because he's so much more faster and he can force Lucario to approach more than he already does, you know. Yeah, and honestly, so sometimes the problem with shurikens is that um, we can probably gain a little bit of charge while he's shooting those shurikens, and I'm pretty sure the aura sphere goes through shurikens because oh, wow. shur shurikens are transcendent. Mm -hmm. So in that in that effect, they would trade, and Vivi would most likely win that trade. Yeah. <laughs> so. But again, Greninja is much faster, so like he doesn't need that. It just make it a lot easier. Oh, yeah. getting the, the lock. Yeah, going yeah going for the forward smash, trying to beat re Vivi's recovery low. Vivi getting Ooh. those neutral ones. Yeah, man, and Venny just pressing forward, man, and Vivi just making him eat percent every time he runs forward like that. Yeah. Oh, nice tag. Yeah, yeah, good tech. Try to get Venny with a back air because reading that low. Yeah. Yeah, and right now, this is around the percents where Vivi starts looking for, for knockdown nares and to yeah. read your soul. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, like that. Although it didn't kill. Oh, a okay. little overextension there, but he stole yeah. a lot. Good, yeah, good. Patience coming out from Venya. Oh, yeah. he looked like he was going to give stage control, and then he just got with the fair. Very smart by Venya. Very smart plot. Yeah, um, yeah, in that situation, um, Vivi tried to get, probably tried to get off the stage, get off of the ledge as fast as possible. Um, got clipped by a forward air. Yeah. And it was just good coverage by Venya all around. I'm gonna say, like a lot of higher level oh, players, they're very good at exploring Ninja. that. Like, mm -hmm. like not even lower level players, like higher level players, like these guys are uneven footing. Like they're both very good. 
any mm -hmm. level player has Bijou's a tendency to just like want to get off, want to get off, you know? Mm -hmm. And like just, they exploit that. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, so we got game two. We yeah. Got Game on Vinya. Yeah, we're gonna go on uh, uh, FD. And uh, this is usually a stage that Vinya counter picks often. Yeah. And um, I know in their previous sets that VB is actually taking like a couple games off of Vinya on the stage. Yeah. Because um, although this is a flat stage and Greninja does thrive off of juggling you, yeah. um, there aren't many places for Greninja to run. So there aren't a lot of yeah. platforms that VB has to chase him off of. Yeah, that's true. Kind of double-edged sword. But right now, he's just, just like catching said, these landings, you know? Just reading really every defensive option. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter because Lucario could just get the aura and get a, get a read, and you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now it's on it's on um, BB to find out how to land a good aggressive landing. Yeah, you died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about the stage. It's like very easy for a yeah. character like Lucario to get sharked. Um, so that's kind of the double edged sword right now. Yeah. With the stage pick. Because the platforms are your ceiling. Oh, no, there's no platforms. Um, uh, well, so I mean, like, the taps is the platforms, I mean. Alright. Ooh. Uh, no is just kind of like just moving all over Vivi right now. He needs to just find him an adaptation, you know? Yeah, and it's just Vivi. And Vivi's just struggling to land, and this yeah. is this is what I was talking about. This is kind of the double-edged sword. Um, because although yeah. Lucario does get a clear view at Greninja, he also has to find a way to land. And yeah. right now, Vivi's not finding his way to land. That was zero to death, that second stock. Oh, that yeah. was nuts. That was wild. Okay. You know, let's let's see if um, Vivi can pull it back, though. I've seen, I've definitely seen these comebacks coming out from Vivi. Yeah. He's a very resilient player. And Lucario's nuts. And ooh, that kind of didn't kill. Oh yeah, he, I, I think he kind of needed that. Ooh, very good mix-up on the Shuriken. He hasn't done that in a while, and he just did that. Mm. Yeah, he could, he could pr probably afford to do that more. Oh, and then great stuff by Vivi. Catching, catching Benny holding shield, because he's been throwing Aura Spheres in the corner like that the whole time, so Spe good conditioning. Speaking of mix-ups, that worked out very well. Yeah, and honestly, if Vivi can take this stock and be in about like the 100 range, um, he's in, you know, it's he's in good condition. It's game, basically. He's in good condition. Yeah. Yeah, right now. And you can see he's hanging back a little bit more. Oh. Just getting some aura. You died. Oh. Yeah, you died. Oh, wow, he didn't die. Okay. Wow, good bonk. Okay. Let's see, let's see the recovery mix up. Going high. Yeah, and Vivi just trying to get that nair, trying to get some type of knockdown, get something started. But he's just not giving it to him right now. Yeah, and right now, <laughs> this is pretty funny. So, Benny needs to kind of watch himself. Yeah. Because right now, I feel he's about to run into, like, a forward smash <laughs> or back air. Yeah, facts. But... Vivi is smart. He'll play safe. Sokka just zone out, you know? Yeah, and Fuck. see, and the, with the roll away, whittling down his shield, and right now Lucario's playing the game. Let, now, let's see if... Yeah, he's like, he's like, oh no, you're at the ledge now. Oh, the tricky movement by Vivi, very good stuff. Yeah, and right now, and see, right now, Venya is in, he's kind of in trouble. He's hot, because he's out of down tilt percents, he's out of 50-50 percents. That's true, yeah. And now he kind of has to edgeguard him or find a hit in neutral. Okay, that killed him. Okay. Yeah, he's at 180. You know what? I thought... I just thought Lucario would be a little bit heavier than that, and he wouldn't straight up dead to it. But now looking yeah. at it again, he was at 180%. So, yeah. yeah good good stuff by um, Venya, man. Just keeping it together, because yeah. something like that, uh, that could easily just turn around, and you yeah. could have just shambled him. It's that high-level player mentality.